Here today we're going to be tying uh, one of my favorite emerger patterns and that's a snowshoe rabbit uh, emerger and I'm going to do some substitutions here to make it uh, look a little bit buggier I think and using materials that I like to use. First we're going to secure the hook and the vise and today we're using a Daiichi 1130 which is a scud hook size 16. I'm going to take my thread and I'm going to start it right where I want my head to end. So I start here, make a couple wraps, trim out the extra. And then I'm going to be using a Montana Fly Company Z yarn in a tan color. I'll just double that right around my thread, double it over, lift this up and then secure it to the top of the hook. And the only tension I'm using is with my thread right here. So I'll take that. We're going to go just beyond the bend of the downturn there, and I'm still holding it in my left hand. I'll take my scissors here, and instead of cutting, I'm going to kind of saw back and forth and then cut and what that does is it gives me a more natural looking trailing shuck back here then I'm going to take some possum and this is a natural tan brown color and I start making a tapered dubbing noodle A little bit at a time. You don't want to overdub this, it'll look really kind of too messy. You want that buggy look, but you don't want too much. So that's enough to start, and I'll wrap right at the base, making spiral wraps. And I try to achieve kind of a carrot look. which that'll do there. I'm going to put just a little bit more on to get that bulbous thorax look kind of right there. And I'm going to end right where I began my thread. And what this does, you want enough here because next we're going to put some snowshoe rabbit on and this is going to give a prop you'll see in a minute here. It'll, it'll give that snowshoe rabbit a prop to be held into place. So here's my snowshoe rabbit, and I'm looking, this is actually split, I'm looking for some hair in this region right here. Uh, this is kind of messed up right here, and I once I got the snowshoe rabbit, I took a pair of metal scissors and split it apart, and you have access at that real nice hair right there. So I'm going to trim a clump out. It's pretty messy right now. You can see that there. And I'm going to start picking all the fuzzies out, the, the under fur. And that's what I pulled out after one, one pinch. So get rid of that. And I'm left with this here. And I kind of measure that out, and I trim out butt ends there. So I'm left with a good looking piece of hair there, and I'm going to transfer it to my left hand, set it on top of the hook, and I can spin my thread to the left, which you'll see, I don't even have to pinch wrap it, you'll just see it lay right over nice on top loose tighter tightest and another securing wrap there what i'm left with 
is a piece of hair that's actually too long. So if it's not right, back it out, adjust, and readjust. And that gives us a nice, there's still some guard hairs here that I'm gonna just trim up. And that is about right. So I'm gonna lift up the bun ends at an angle, trim. And then we're gonna actually put a head on here uh, I'm going to clean this up a little bit with some thread wraps and see it kind of looks like a cone and that's because we trimmed that those butt ends out an at an angle. For the head I like to take a little bit of a contrast. I want the head to be just a little bit darker and that's that's personal preference. I actually combined two different colors of possum and I mix them loosely in my hand. It's a brown and a tan, and you'll see here. It just gives a nice little contrast between the body and the head. And this I want to make into kind of a ball shaped, just like that. And I ended up with my thread right behind the eye. And I'm going to add a little bit more dubbing here just because I do want that nice ball shape of a head. There you go, a little bit better. So now all that's left to do is take a four or five turn, whip finish turn behind the eye. Make sure the thread is seated well and then trim it out. And there you have a nice buggy looking rabbit foot emerger. And I'm just going to trim out some of the hairs around the eye here. Now the idea behind this fly is actually it'll sit with the water about right here. So everything above here will be sitting kind of in the film and everything below will be sitting below it. It's a nice pattern. Uh, it can be used to imitate a number of insects. The colors I used here can be good for mahoganies, uh, some of the smaller, darker mayflies. It can be light enough, too, for some of the sulfurs. So anyway, next time you're looking to tie some uh, emerger patterns, give this one a try. With some practice, you'll get the the proportions just about right. So there you have it, the snowshoe rabbit foot emerger.